So the most important thing I carry in my backpack is, ta-da! Just kidding, I actually have a separate backpack for him, so you're done. But let's actually get around to my daily carry as a doctor. Hey friends, welcome to the channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lakshman, an internal medicine physician trying to help you and other students succeed on whatever journey you're on, but doing it with less stress. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my daily carry as an internal medicine physician. So before we get into the video, I'm gonna do the most dramatic slow motion unzip while you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go. All right, but hopefully you hit the like button, but let's go ahead and get started. And all the things that we'll talk about in this video will also be linked down below in the description in case you're interested. So first let's get started with the bag itself. Now this was a gift for my sister-in-law around Christmas time, but this is the North Face Borealis bag. And so I'm usually pretty nervous when it comes to switching to bags, just because like me, you get used to having all the little pockets and sections of a backpack and get used to kind of having your little own piece of life in there. And so whenever you have to switch or upgrade, you're kind of nervous whether your new backpack will definitely be able to account for it. But I absolutely love this backpack for a variety of reasons. One, it's super easy to carry and lightweight, even when I'm carrying a little bit heavier objects like my laptop. And this section's really nice because it can carry really large objects like textbooks, medical kind of devices like my stethoscope, and still have enough room for things like my lunch and my umbrella. And so if you carry around a lot of things like I do, you can ask yourself, laptop definitely has room. Books, has room. Lunch, yep, you guessed it, has room. In addition to two nice big sections for my laptop and books, it also has nicer sections in the middle that are meant for smaller things like my pagers and other medical equipment that we'll get into in a second. And and then in the very front, I have really nice kind of easy to access pockets for things like, you know, N95 masks, because that's kind of where I'm still living as well as things such as my keys and wallet. So next, let's talk about my actual daily driver. Now I've made a completely different video about my favorite laptops from medical school, so I'll link that down below as well as put it over here. The laptop that I'm currently using is the HP Spectre 360 series. I go into full detail about the actual laptop in the video, but this is the HP Spectre 360. It's 13 inches, super light and freakishly fast. In addition to having excellent performance, the battery on this machine lasts anywhere for me about 10 to 12 hours. So I really don't have to take my charger around in my backpack to add more weight. Next is probably one of my favorite pieces of technology that I'm now using on a daily basis and I try to keep it in my front section are my daily headphones. So over the past year, I switched from these noise canceling Bose headphones, which I made a completely different video about in my last essential carries to now these kind of in your ears headphones by Anchor. And the reason I like these very much is one, they're just kind of just very simple and elegant. You can't really see them. They're also still noise canceling. And the most important part for me is that before I used to kind of use this machine and then forget to charge it because I had a micro USB, which I don't really use very much anymore. But these headphones on the other end actually use a USB-C port, which is exactly what my phone charges with. So it's very easy for me to come home, use a variety of chargers that my wife and I have around the house, just plug this in. And then the case itself just essentially behaves as a battery pack. So I can essentially get three full uses through the headphones. I've actually never ran out. And speaking of my phone, one of the things I like to carry in the middle section or in my scrub pocket is my daily driver for a phone. This is the OnePlus 8. Now I personally have had a phone from OnePlus for at least the last four years and they're just absolutely amazing. Prior to just recently, these phones used to be one of the most affordable on the market, but they had the specs comparable to other high performance phones like an iPhone. And as you can imagine, as my day to day as a doctor, I definitely need to have a device that's one reliable and two just has the battery life to last me throughout the entire day. And most often I can make it through a full day at the hospital without having to charge it. But in case I did, because I had an app running in the background, or I was playing too many Angry Birds, you know how it goes, then I can go ahead and use the warp charging function to simply get a full day or half a day charging in just about 20 minutes. Now next, let's go ahead and talk about some of the medical things that I carry on a day-to-day. -day. So probably the most important thing that I carry with me is my daily stethoscope. This is the Cardiology Litman 4 series. It's the same stethoscope that I actually used for the last two years of medical school and I continue to use now in residency. Now eventually I'll be upgrading to probably something a little bit cooler when I'm an attending, but for the purposes of what you need for medical school as well as residency, this does more than enough. And if you're interested in learning of all the different options for a stethoscope in medical school or residency, you can check out the full blog post, which I'll link down below. Now in addition, to my stethoscope, which I love. On the other hand, I probably have one daily driver, which I absolutely hate. So this is the pager that my residency program gives me that I have to carry around every single day as a physician. And you would think that if something you had longer, you would become more attached to it. But if anything, this is just something that I wanna But typically I like to carry my pager around in my backpack or in the glove box of my car on the times where I'm like sleeping or have a late night shift because sometimes your pager will go off even when you're not at the hospital, somebody accidentally pages you or it's like a group message page. It's like almost essentially like spam. I hate this thing. Now, one thing that I carry around that I often forget, but I absolutely love is just my personal notebook. So I knew early on around residency that I'm gonna be learning a bunch of different things and I'll also be now working with medical students trying to teach them. So I essentially have a really nice notebook um, and I'll link this in Amazon. I actually have two, one that sits on my desk and then one that sits in my backpack for any piece 
pieces of information that I learned. So if there's something that I wanna look up, then I'll go ahead and just create a full chart. So this is something on Brugada syndrome. And essentially, if I have medical students, I can be like, what do you wanna learn? And I'll give them some options and they'll be like, oh, you wanna learn about antiarrhythmic drugs? Let's do it. And so this is a notebook of growing knowledge that I continue to use. And especially if I'm about to start a new rotation, like right now I'm on the heart transplant service. And so if there's something I don't know, which is a lot right now regarding heart transplants, then I'll go ahead and create a whole section and then I can mark them at the start of the book with chapters. So I know exactly what page my heart transplant notes are on. So if I need to refer to it because I'm going to do the rotation again in a year, I can simply just go back, read it, and then boom, I'm done. Now a few of the other things I carry around that are just absolute lifesavers. So this is an extra cable that I bought from OnePlus to just charge my phone. And on top of that, just to be extra safe, I have another power brick in case I need to charge you know, my phone or my headphones for whatever reason. And just because of the times that we're in right now in the hospital, I carry a bunch of N95s that haven't been used, but I just kind of put them into my front section pocket. So if I need to grab one, I don't have one in my scrub pockets. I just have one easy access. And I feel like the more I'm recording this video, I'm finding more and more things that are useful that I just have and I totally forgot. But these are notes that I was given as an intern um, for things like, okay, how much medication do I need to give if a patient has pain? How much do I need to give if their potassium is low? How much do I need to give if their calcium is low? What do I need to do if their blood pressure is high? low or what do I need to do if they can't sleep? Not peeing, they fall. Nice checklist. So try to create one of these yourself or ask a residency program when you're starting or in your medical school to see if you can just create this, put it into your backpack, refer to it easily. And ideally try to do it where no one else is looking so you can look super smart, but this is always there. And then I have a nice little fold out pink sheet, which refers to all the different antibiotics I may have to give, different doses, as well as the different kind of infections I may be treating. This is a pretty nice lifesaver just in case I didn't have my technology on me, like up to date or Google, but having these easy laminated cards, just in case I needed to refer to them in the back section of my backpack, just makes me feel a little bit more relaxed. And then finally, a few things that I carry around either in my backpack or my scrub pockets. So this is my newest uh, wallet that I've been using. This is something my wife got me just because I had a tendency of just losing those old fashioned foldable wallets all the time. And it's super minimalistic. I don't really carry that much cash on me, so don't try to rob me. Um, but this is just very easy, kind of fits um, in my kind of vest or it fits in my white coat. And so I can easily like just kind of carry around the hospital without losing it. And then something I did always lose a lot are my keys. This was also a gift for my wife because again, I lose things all the time. So this is one of those nice little fold out key chains that you can just keep all your keys on and then just block it away and then to avoid making sure that I don't lose my keys and my wallet at the same time it just nicely clips on and then oh, I'm good to go so one thing I'll try to carry with me is an article of a new England journal that may have one or two articles that may be really interesting to me and on top of that I'll try to carry like one little small book depending on the rotation I'm on so this is like a general kind of thing that I keep around especially for my wards rotation so this is like an internal medicine essentials kind of thing that talks about all the different diagnoses as well as gives you practice questions again this is not something that I read every single day but it's just there in case I need more reading material and I can add that to my notebook if there's one thing that has changed but hasn't changed since my last essential videos i absolutely love my pens and i have now made an upgrade so i will link these down below because i absolutely love them i used to use the pilot g2s and if you guys are familiar they're really popular pens but this is actually called arteza i hope i'm saying this right they're ball pens they're 0.5 so super extra fine but they're amazing to write in the notebook that i linked down below as well as just kind of keep a bunch with you to you know do your daily rounds and so i have about like a pack of 20 and i think they're like 10 bucks not very expensive but they're super amazing so to all my pen geeks out there try this one out but that guys is everything i care around my day-to-day -day as an internal medicine physician hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below of what things you use in your backpack what type of questions you have what type of things i should be carrying what type of things i should you know, get rid of and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button for more videos like this to help you succeed on your medical journey but doing it with less stress and if you want to check out other videos that i've made on medical school essentials and check out this video which talks about all the different things that i use in medical school and then if you want to succeed in medical school then check out this video on how you can succeed in anki like a pro but with that being said guys thank you so much for joining me in my backpack on a journey today. Hopefully I was a little help to you guys on yours and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.